Hi there, Capricorn. Welcome to your February 2014 room scope. My name is Amanda. Um, I have my statue of Aphrodite here uh, to help us out, lend her, lend her loving energy, um, her loving, sexy energy uh, to the room scopes this month as it is Valentine's Day. Also, Capricorn, I want to take a moment and wish you guys a belated happy birthday because I forgot to do that on um, the yearly scopes that I did for everyone. If you haven't had a chance to check those out, uh, definitely take a look at the Capricorn 2014 room scope to get an overview of the entire year for you. Um, just wanted to make sure I got that in because I have a lot. I have a lot of Capricorns in my life who are, are precious to me and um, I always try to make their birthdays special because I know it kind of sucks to get lumped in there with Christmas, so close to Christmas or um, whatever holiday your family celebrates in December. You can kind of get the short end of the stick there. So I always try to make an extra effort um, with the Capricorns in my life so that they know I'm thinking of them on their birthday. Um, so also I uh, do want to mention as always to watch the video for your rising sign as well that can give you some more information about some other themes that you may be dealing with in February in other areas uh, of course the only way to get an accurate reading for you specifically is to schedule a private consultation and uh, I do those on Skype and they are $65 for a half hour session just drop me a line at the email address below this video if you would like to set something up for that but let's jump into February for you, Cappies, and see what's coming up. Of course, just to mention, there is a Mercury retrograde in February, which slows down communications. Um, you know, little day-to-day -day things can become even more aggravating sometimes during a Mercury retrograde. Computers, electronic things can go on the fritz. Not a good time to sign any documents, to accept a new job, a new lover start a new relationship. Um, anything that kind of starts during a Mercury retrograde is kind of probably going to have to be redone at a later date. So if you can put off any major decisions until March, that's going to be most beneficial. Of course, if you need a job right now and one is offered to you in February, absolutely take it. Um, but for those that you, for anything that you can kind of put off, definitely do so. Um, what I see your focus on uh, Capricorns in February, it looks like you're taking a step back from somebody who is being wrong-minded or stubborn in some way. Um, in some cases, this may be you. Maybe you're stepping back because people are, uh, you know, disagreeing with you, telling you you're wrong. But for, for most of you, I feel like this is somebody else in, in your sphere, uh, in your family, um, uh, in your social sphere, uh, who, who you feel has made themselves vulnerable in some way and you don't think it's good for them to do this. Um, you kind of feel like they're setting down, setting off on, on a road or, or have taken a new opportunity or going down some path that you feel they're not ready for, they're unsuited for. Um, and, but all you can do is kind of sit back and uh, see what happens next. And uh, so that's gonna be your focus uh, in February. Um, you know, I, and I think it's coming up because even though you may not be, you know, giving, dispensing advice to this person anymore, because I think a lot of you probably already did that, um, it, you know, in, in uh, the end of 2013 and into January of this year, I think you've already kind of done that. And maybe the reception, the response you got from this person was, you know, mind your own business or I can handle my own affairs. I don't need you. I don't need your sage advice. So I think they are making, you know, in a lot of cases, I think it is um, a bad decision they're making and that they haven't listened to you, uh, Capricorn. So now your, your, your focus in February, I think it's coming up because you're just going to be thinking about this person. Um, you know, you're going to be seeing them continue down this path and it's going to kind of spark new ugh, frustration in you. Um, why didn't you listen to me? Okay. A lot of you, uh, for a lot of you, the situation has to do with a love relationship. So maybe it's somebody else's relationship that they're in. You feel like they're with the wrong kind of person. Maybe um, you're just disappointed in the choice that they've made as far as uh, the person that they are with. Um, and you don't want to have to deal with this person anymore. Um, you're doing your best to put up a brave face, Capricorn. 
doing your best to to um, try to be accepting, to try to be a good friend, a good family member. You know, if this is someone in your family, you're, you're doing your best to try and put on that brave face like everything's going to be okay. When really you are just, this is a troublesome, irksome person and you can't wait for them to be out of your life. Um, and I feel like there may be, like you may get news about this in February. That may be also what brings it up. I mean, I know they're going to be on your mind, this person, but it could be that news comes out or some new surprise comes out. Um, this may be a pregnancy uh, that comes out um, and you may be like, oh my God. For, you know, uh, pregnancy for this person. For some of you, this may be a pregnancy for you. And you may be like, oh my God. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that, you know? Um, just a little heads up. For some of you, that's how this could play out. Just really so, something that kind of knocks you off your horse. A new beginning. But it is coming up as their fertility card, so I normally have to read that. And next to the news card reversed, as in, oh my god. <laughs> There's not, That's kind of one of the only interpretations of this. But um, for some, it just could, just could be a new beginning. It could be a wedding. could be somebody, you know, somebody you know marrying somebody that you're not, you think is manipulative, uh, manipulative sorts, or um, not putting, not showing their true face in some way. Um, so just concern about that. Um, but the advice is to continue just continue appearances, Capricorn. Uh, February is not the month. It's not the month to cause undue strife. It will backfire on you. Um, communications get uh, crossed, wires get crossed, things are taken the wrong way. So speaking out, give it a little time. Give it a little time until until everybody kind of chills out, calms down. Um, as far as help you're going to receive, you're going to have other people around you who feel the same way. So you will have people to talk to about this. And, you know, um, other people who are very upset about this. If it's you that is upset about this news that you've just found out, you're gonna have people to go to who are gonna be able to, oh, I've been there before, they're, you know, they're gonna be able to help you. Um, don't go to people that you know are gonna be negative, Capricorn. I mean, if they've never had anything good to say, I mean, even if it is your mom or somebody that you're, you know, by all, other accounts should be, you know, uh, happy for you. If your mom's not that kind of person, don't go to your mom with this news or your, you know, go to somebody that you know is going to be able, has been there, can give you sage advice. Um, Capricorn, you're normally the dispenser of sage advice, so it's very difficult sometimes for you to find someone in your, in your uh, group that can give you advice. But, you know, look for that person. Look for somebody who, because um, I feel like you need to talk about this with somebody. Um, but I see, I see that, you know, that there's a camaraderie, other people sharing, um, your frustration and helping you kind of cope through this. Um, what has to be accepted about February Capricorn is that, um, whoever this person is, if it's not you, um, you know, more is going to come out about this situation, but, but this person is set on this course and there's not really anything you can do to turn them around and get them off of it at this point. They're too much, they're too far down the road. Um, you know, and, and this, but more is going to come out about this, I feel, by March. So... Just kind of let things unfold in February, continue, continue to stay back. No matter what, how shocking anything that is directed at you, no matter how shocking news is, wear that brave face, Capricorn. Just kind of be like, put on a smile and, and cope with it the best you can. Capricorns find it very difficult to be fake. Um, so I, I, I see why this is coming up as a struggle as this may be a struggle for you in February, Capricorn, but um, just do your best. Um, 
For those of you who have recently begun a new relationship, um, it looks like there may be an ex or somebody still involved in this person's life and that may be what this situation is talking about and you may just feel you may feel that your your uh, your partner is still in love with this person or still has a tie to this person. Uh, again, the, the advice is to just step back. You don't have all the information. Things are going to come out that you're going to, so you will better understand that situation. So try not to get freaked out. Um, if you're in a newer relationship and there is an ex that still keeps trying to insert themselves into your partner's life, um, you know I don't feel they are receptive to this person. Uh, you know, they may still talk to this person. In some cases, it may be because there are ch children involved, whatever. But you don't have all the information yet, so try not to um, jump to conclusions in February. Um, you can talk it out if you want to, but I think the answers you're going to get will be more clear in March. So if you can just, again, kind of let things unfold. Um, Capricorn, if you do get a job offer in February, as I think some of you will, I mean, it may look like this is just the best thing since sliced bread. This is the most perfect opportunity for me. It's more money. Um, however, I, I, I think that something, you don't have all the details of this. So again, if you can, again, if you have to take a job right now in February, absolutely do so. I mean, we all need to feed our families. We all need to feed ourselves, have a roof over our heads. If you can delay this until March, that's going to be better because I feel like you will have another opportunity around um, by March that's better. Um, it's not the job itself so much that is 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 negative about around this if you get something in February or if you're offered something in February, Capricorn. It's the culture. It's the people. Um, and I think you'll get a hint of this when you talk to someone on the phone, either on the phone or in person, if you interview in February. It's just not, it's not feeling like a good fit. Um, and I think there's something they're not telling you about the money. That, you know, that may be, part of that may be benefits rather than pay or something. There's something tricky there. There's something that you need to get more information about. Um, so hold off until March if you can, because I think that a, a more, far more beneficial offer will come in for you in March, Capricorn. And there may be a slight delay over starting there. Like you may not start until April or, or something like that. And it may be a little scary if you need money now, but the benefits are going to be so much better. And it's also going to be like um, something you enjoy doing a lot more than this other job in February. Um, so keep that in mind, Capricorn. Um, some of you, those of you who are single, you single Capricorns, if you've just gotten out of a relationship, um, you know, you may find that there's someone interested in you and you may be delaying this because you've, maybe you've just come out of something, you don't want to jump right in, you're a little gun shy. Um, but it looks like for some of you, uh, on Valentine's Day, Somebody may come out of the woodwork who has been admiring you from afar. Um, there's an opportunity to form a, a new romantic partnership uh, here at Capricorn, if this isn't a job offer, because partnership card comes up for, for job and for relationships. But for those of you this doesn't work out to be a job, it will be a new relationship opportunity. And um, there's nothing wrong with delaying in February, but once March comes along, um, let the brakes off a little bit. Uh, let things kind of unfold because I, I feel like those of you who are meeting somebody in February, um, for a lot of you, this is like a karmic relationship. This is, this is somebody that you're supposed to uh, have dealings with. Um, somebody that's supposed to be in your life. They're here for a reason. So uh, definitely keep that in mind, Capricorn. I think that even amidst all of this, this family drama, you are going to have a, a, a good Valentine's Day. I think for most of you, it's going to be a low key Valentine's Day. Um, you know, you may just stay in, you may do a nice dinner and then come home, and watch a movie something like that. Low key, but Capricorn, you tend to like that. You don't need a lot of show. Um, some jewelry would be nice. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think you're going to have um, overall a very positive experience on Valentine's Day. Just. Uh, Kind of sit back and let things unfold in February and then make decisions and start moving ahead with things in March. So that's what I see for you guys. Um, have a very happy Valentine's Day and I will see you again in March.